Today, our speaker is uh, uh, Alex Volchenko, a CSR research assistant, and he will talk about the basics for sociologists. So, today we have a methodological workshop. Uh, so, Alex is in the row. Oh, you did it all wrong because you, you, you broke something. It could be 
Uh, it happens sometimes in your text, so not only code. So it is the case when you need version control. And there are quite a lot of version control systems, for example, Google uh, Docs. They also have uh, opportunity uh, of uh, version control, but I'm going to talk about uh, Git. So, uh, why should you use uh, version control? First of all, uh, now after, after you implement version control of your, in your uh, daily routine, you can see whole history of the project. So, if you're working on some code for 10 years, and it's possible for programmers, you can trace back to the very first file that you have, or maybe to the middle of your develop, developing. So it's uh, quite uh, useful. Also, you can try out some new, uh, like make some experiments with your code, uh, for example, implement some new function uh, without uh, being afraid of uh, ruining something. And at the same time, you don't have to make a copy of your file, so you're working uh, with one file all the time. Uh, also, it's good for collaboration, because when you work as a group on one bunch of codes, it's always a problem. Uh, how should you combine those two bunches when you have, uh, like, uh, change uh, two different parts? And uh, now I will get back to general idea of version control. So, uh, in my example, we have uh, three files, A, B, and C. And uh, in our first stage, we change our A file uh, and C file. Now we have A, A1 and AC, but B stays the same. Uh, so version control can capture this change, and uh, in your system you now have a snapshot of your previous uh, situation and your current, current situation. So the same happens if you change it. Uh, like your C file, and now you have C2, but uh, B stays the same, uh, as well as A. And, uh, like, in terms of uh, sociological projects, uh, for example, when we're working on, uh, file A can be some kind of data, file B may be some kind of code, uh, like one kind of code, for example, that uh, making some data preparation, and file C may be file with your code, and they are changing, like, uh, uh, independently from each other. So uh, that's why it can be good. And actually, uh, that's what happened in Git. Git capture all documents that you have, that you ask him to trace, to follow, and uh, you have uh, like uh, pictures of your repository over time. And also, it's quite useful uh, uh, in collaboration, because when you have two users that are working at the, uh, on the same time, as I, I already told, uh, they can have conflicts in their code if they try to just merge in it. And uh, Git uh, allows you to uh, solve such kind of problem. In my current presentation, I will not talk a lot about collaboration, and more, uh, I will talk more about version control, but it's not so uh, hard to understand if you like to. And if we operationalize this uh, view, so in Git we have situation like that. Uh, we have two people with uh, computers, it's computer A and computer B, and our server computer when we have our uh, repository as well as on computer A and computer B. You have two repositories and uh, every time when you start to work uh, on your file you are checking whether the other person done something with your code. If yes, you are pulling these uh, changes and pull is a special word for like, uh, like a requirement uh, of changes from a uh, global repository. And uh, after you've done something significant, you're pushing your data to, log, uh, to global repository uh, in order to make these uh, changes available to other people. So now about some bad experience of people who've been writing code. So there are lots of situations that uh, can lead you to the idea that you finally need to know how to uh, use uh, Git. First of all, uh, as I already told, sometimes we realize that uh, some change was a huge mistake and we need to revert our code back. 
Also, sometimes we don't have backs or backups at all, and sometimes our back backups are too old. Uh, sometimes we have to maintain multiple versions of a pro product. So, for example, in terms of uh, again sociological projects, uh, we can have, uh, like for example, one code we use for publishing articles, and we are just polishing it uh, and uh, doing some final changes. And other code is uh, our new project, which derives from our previous one, but we still would like to uh, develop this as well simultaneously. Uh, so in that case, uh, Git is really useful to maintain both those versions and to see how they are different. Uh, sometimes you would like to see difference between two versions of your code. Uh, well, and uh, lots of lots of stuff. I Sorry, in Moscow I have some troubles with uh, like uh, switching slides. Uh, <laughs> uh, so actually, it's uh, like kind of traumatic experience that leads <laughs> that leads most of, most of people to apply in Git. Uh, so here is my example. Uh, it's my typical working directory. Not actually maybe my case, but there is some person who's doing uh, who is doing a uh, He's a her research on trust and has uh, nine files of code, uh, which uh, all names are not really useful. Uh, maybe a name in it differently will help, but I'm not sure. Uh, so we have uh, like a bunch of code. We don't know which one is the new one, which one is the old one, but also a stable version, which is pretty useful. So, uh, it's kind of a mess that you'd like to, uh, like, get rid of. So, this is a good idea to start with. So, uh, now we're going to definition, what is Git? And this definition is from their official website. <coughs> so, they already explained us that Git is actually the best version, uh, the, the best. Uh, version control and it's distributed and it's fast and it's really good. Uh, but I would like to explain it to you a bit differently. So uh, why we should use Git and GitHub? First of all, it's uh, version control and we'd like to uh, follow all, uh, all our, our changes. Also, it's a good uh, collaboration tool, which is also good. But as well as the other version control, it is fast. It is commonly used, which means that uh, there is a lot of tutorial. If you like uh, search on YouTube, like 20 minute GitHub tutorial, you find like 100 videos, and all of them are pretty good. So if I ask uh, my programmers friends, like how many times do you need to learn Git, they are uh, like, you don't need some. You need just to know how to read because. Uh, you can Google easy on, on what is Git about. So Git is also free and open source, which is pretty good, and it is distributed. It means that you can run Git both uh, on uh, your local computer and uh, on some servers. Uh, like, uh, And you can combine these two kinds of work, which is really good. So you can do some stuff with Git even when you uh, like on, on the plane. And some stuff, for some stuff you need internet connection, but uh, it is only related with those cases uh, when you like to publish some of your code or like exchange uh, like with someone else uh, like your code. So a kind of a joke that Git is a time machine and it's true because as I've already told, you can uh, go back in time, you can't go to the future, uh, unfortunately, but uh, <laughs> it's really, I mean, uh, I'm a control freak, so for me it's really uh, like uh, important uh, to have uh, all my versions, all my files somewhere, so that's why it's good and it's time machine. Another uh, thing is to giant and do buttons. So you can uh, press Ctrl Z and go back only to those changes that happened during your current session. But uh, in Git you can uh, like uh, go to the very first 
version of your code if you save it, and I'll show it a bit later. Uh, but uh, it's also pretty useful for me. And also it's a notebook, because some people, when they're working on code or on some data, they uh, try to use uh, like something like logbooks when they like uh, write in like uh, September 11, I've changed those bunch of code. And this may be useful on really big projects, for example, now a project about MDB that has such kind of logbook because we haven't uh, created a Git repository yet. Uh, but it's not a very good idea, so Git also can be a notebook. But also I have to tell what uh, it is not. It's not, uh, it has no user interface originally, so you have to learn how to use command prompt. Uh, and it may be, uh, again, traumatic experience, but uh, I'm doing fine. <laughs> and uh, other people who are not programmers are using common prompt or common line or, or line or something else in Windows or Unix or Mac, uh, which, is, uh, which has same functions, uh, like they're doing fine. And also Git is not a backup system. I mean, uh, well, there is a huge debate around this uh, issue because uh, some Git users uh, believe that you can upload to Git any kind of data, like videos, uh, images, and so on. Uh, but some people believe that uh, Git is not a, not, a, not a good place for your binary data. Binary data or binary files, it's files that can be read, read by human. Uh, I mean, if you look at the code of this file, uh, you cannot read it without computers. So picture is actually a bunch of code, and then you look at those code, you cannot recognize what it's about. So uh, Git is uh, really perfect for plain text, like TXT, CSV, and so on, because it easily can show you what's the difference between two files. Uh, and uh, actually, I think that uh, we can find some kind of uh, compromise uh, in terms of uh, we can upload uh, some images, but probably only at the final stages of our work, because when we upload something to GitHub, uh, well, it's remote, so it's like a uh, server, so people won't be happy to see all our stuff, uh, which is uh, like uh, really, it takes huge amount of uh, GitHub memories, and it's not so good. And uh, what I would like to tell about now is uh, GitHub. So, uh, have you ever been into like uh, using? Have you ever used GitHub? Is the question. No, I mean you have never even addressed. Uh, you should. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So uh, when uh, our uh, users try to Google something on R, they uh, often have uh, like results from GitHub, uh, they uh, often see a bunch of code, uh, they can uh, look through it and it might be really helpful, but lots of social scientists or, or not programmers think that GitHub is just a website that allows you to like upload your code, like a blog or something like that, but actually it is not, because GitHub is uh, really closely related to Git, and uh, you cannot use GitHub without knowing what Git is. So GitHub is a repository hosting service for Git, uh, and it has many features to it. So uh, also it allows you to do some things that Git don't allow you to do. Uh, well, meanwhile, Git is a common line tool. GitHub provides you a graphical interface, which might be really useful. And it provides you lots of opportunity on collaboration, which is uh, already can be a uh, good idea, and uh, as well as it allows you to use uh, uh, management tools. And once again, I would like to repeat that Git is not equal equals to GitHub. And it's a very important point. Uh, 
So why should you use GitHub? Because it's not necessary actually to use GitHub. Maybe you are really uh, like lost now, but I believe that after I will show you something, you'll get it. Uh, well, GitHub is free for open sources, and uh, it's a good. Uh, you can have a uh, lot of opportunity to work uh, with other people. You can. Uh, contribute to other people uh, code as well as post your code and you can extend it to other people who contribute to your code. Uh, and I think the most important reason to use GitHub is that uh, it's, its mascot is really cute, it's uh, an octocat and they have different versions of octocat and you'll see when I show you GitHub. Uh, well, but vice versa, there are some reasons why I don't need uh, GitHub. Because GitHub, uh, like, it requires you to do your code, uh, like, public, so available to everybody. So I don't want to use GitHub when my code is a mess, because uh, I kind of uh, not proud of it sometimes. And actually, it's a good reason to uh, keep it in, like, in a good shape. Because, uh, like, messy code is not a good habit at all. Another case is when your data is, data or maybe code is highly confidential. Uh, like, when you, like, uh, would like to publish your work and uh, probably don't want to, uh, like, post your code on GitHub before you publish it, or maybe at all. Or I read about some cases, like, people who are analyzing court cases, they also don't want to publish it on GitHub because those uh, information is really uh, confidential. Uh, also, uh, you can be just uh, a bad person who don't want to change your code for no reason because it's your pressure code and it's like, uh, it's just a bad person in, the, in that case, it, especially if you use R, which is uh, open source, if you use GIF, which is open source, you should do the same. You should make your code uh, like open source. Uh, and uh, another issue that I'd like to talk, I mean, uh, what are the reasons to implement uh, uh, Git and GitHub in, for LCSR? First of all, it's collaboration, because we have lots of uh, projects that involves more than one people and that involves code which is especially uh, good in that case because it's an uh, important uh, uh, tool for collaboration and for management as well. I'll show you this later. Another uh, important point is it's good for teaching because you can publish your code uh, on GitHub and it's now available for students and uh, it takes like five minutes to uh, explain to students how to uh, clone those code and make some changes. It may be also useful in that case. Also, we can make our scripts easily accessible for each other or maybe for other people because, for example, we have uh, like legendary code on uh, computing the index of emancipation values and we distribute from each other. Uh, so we can just publish it on Git and we will probably not lose anything. Also, it can be a good way to create in our like, laboratory's online portfolio because it uh, can uh, attract other people to our activities. Uh, we have lots of really good code, uh, I believe, that we created both for students and for our own research. And I think we can publish some of it as well. Uh, I mean, uh, we can publish it somewhere else, but Git is uh, actually like, it's like a good uh, habit to publish something on Git, I believe. And also it's good for socializing, because uh, when you publish something on GitHub, uh, you can expect that other people will uh, like give you some comments or even contribute to your code. Uh, maybe show you some uh, other like solutions of your problem, and it's once again it will be good for uh, like laboratory image. Uh, so uh, now I would like to show you GitHub and its some of its features. What does it look like? Uh, so uh, now uh, Saint Petersburg, we have to watch on this. Uh, 
such a screen, I'm sorry, we haven't solved this problem yet. So, this is main uh, Git uh, page. Uh, so, uh, GitHub is very user-friendly. I mean, probably the most user-friendly... Uh, I have no connection. Mm, uh, I'll deal with it uh, in a minute. Uh, well, uh, now we don't need to, uh, like, find some, like, uh, uh, switching to some other pages, I'll explain what going on here. So we are already logging into my GitHub account. Uh, there is a, an easy four steps in uh, implementing Git into your activity. Uh, so first of all, you need to set up your Git, and if you like push this button, you'll see a really user-friendly guide. Uh, also, we'd like to create repositories, and uh, then you can fork repositories, which means creating copies of uh, your repository or someone else's repository, if you'd like to start with someone else's code. And then you can communicate, work together, invite people to your repos, and uh, I need to... to uh, it's alright, uh, most of that you can't see anything, I'll... Uh, like. Wait a second, <laughs> we have some technical problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now it's good. Okay. Yeah, it's on. Uh, yeah, I, I have this problem sometimes. Do you know how to use HCR.org? Yeah, I know, but on that computer I cannot uh, switch it on. I don't know why. Oh, sorry about that. So, <laughs> problems? Normally it works. I have my other uh, laptop uh, also uh, on Ubuntu, but uh, here I cannot switch it on. Uh, so here is the, my here. Uh, it's just my other laptop, and I just have everything on my phone now. Uh, so uh, here is uh, my uh, main uh, like. You, you can see that I have some repositories here. I have repositories that I contributed to. It's actually my brother's repository and he just showed me some uh, stuff. It's uh, like on Java and I have no clue what's going on on those bunch of code. But I'm a contributor here. Uh, and I have some uh, my repositories. I have six. Uh, recently I killed all messy repositories in my computer. Uh, so I have uh, two forked repositories, which uh, means that it's not originally mine, but I copied all files by doing fork. Uh, it's for nice for like learning a repository and uh, this strange name of my brother's repository. And I also have repositories or uh, repository on IMDB project, test project for test repository for this seminar. I have. TP repository, which is which for, stands for trust projects, and another trust project repository, which uh, again I've been experimenting during my preparation for this uh, seminar, and I really uh, heartlessly killed uh, most of my repositories, so now my Git, uh, GitHub is uh, kind of empty. So you can see at some re my reps, you know, so I'm sorry. Uh, so, for example, here is my repository. Uh, I can see all my files here. I can see that uh, there is comments for some changes. So, for example, here I uh, commented that country level derived variables uh, data set added here. Uh, and it's really nice to have uh, meaningful comments. Uh, so I have some uh, uh, <coughs> uh, files here, files here, but probably I'm not the very best example here because uh, I only started with the idea of publishing everything on GitHub. 
But I will show you some someone else's uh, repository. It's going to be a repository of happy victims, uh, which is really uh, good uh, and like uh, a good developer in R. So here is his repository. You can see his activities. Uh, so you can see each day uh, when he he does some commits. So you can see that he had some days rest uh, in uh, during last Christmas, mm -hmm. and you can see some really good uh, time when he had uh, like lots of uh, uh, commits. And it's good actually for management and for self management as well. So you can see uh, how uh, hard. It's public for <laughs> Maybe, but uh, like you actually don't have to make uh, like doing commit all the time when you change something. Only after some time you can uh, uh, commit your changes. Like uh, yeah, some people they obsessed with having lots of day lo all days with some commit. But it's not necessary, you can do it like once a month. But I think it's uh, a good idea. So, and uh, let me show his uh, repository on baby names. Uh, he, had, he has uh, like, he has baby name repository. And we can see all files here, we can see uh, when the last change uh, had been made. Uh, we can see all the commits. Here they are. There are a lot of people working on this stuff. Uh, we can see contributors. Here they are. We can see how like effective each contributor. We can see uh, like general activity on this project. We can see uh, each uh, user contribution. So, uh, it may be useful for management. We can see how, uh, uh, like, different version of code uh, made by different people, uh, they, like, being merged, and, like, there are points when we have, like, four versions of the same uh, repository, and then they create, like, a uh, final version that they uploaded to CRAN. So uh, that's uh, the main issues again, and now I'll turn to presentation. Once you again. can also use Git on your own computer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, like uh, GitHub has some opportunities that you yes, like to have. Yes, I, I, I like the page about those TSR purposes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. So basic concept of Git. Uh, some definitions. I've, over, uh, I've already been used uh, a lot of word repository, and repository is actually your directory when you uh, initialize uh, Git. So uh, it's actually like a folder uh, where you now have your, like, where you allow, allow uh, Git to, to work. Like, maybe it's not the best uh, explanation. Uh, but, uh, so it's a hidden directory where Git operates. And also another important definition is uh, fork. Fork is a copy of your repository, which is quite useful when you have several versions, or when you work with someone else's code. So uh, actually forking is more uh, a GitHub uh, issue than a Git, because in Git you mainly have clone. Uh, so your files can be in Git uh, on three states. Your file can be committed, which means that your data is safely stored in your local database in case when you use uh, Git without GitHub. Here we, we're not talking about GitHub. Uh, your file can be modified, which means that uh, you have versions that are different from your uh, committed last one. So GitHub can tell you, oh, look, you have files that, that is different from your commit. Maybe you should commit it. And also we have uh, staged files, which means that uh, it is file, uh, it's a bunch, it, may, it may be a bunch of files that are ready to uh, commit. And uh, in order to start working with Git, you first of all need to install it, then you need to create Git GitHub account if you'd like to work with GitHub, and then you need to configure Git, which is uh, really easy to do. 
Well, to configure Git, you need to run actually two lines in your terminal. After installing Git, it's uh, like uh, configuring your name and your email. It's actually not necessary, but it's uh, again like good habit uh, that you need to, to follow. And also, there are quite different ways to, to implement Git. Uh, first of all, it's traditional command uh, line or command from. Not Git, not Git file at this point. Uh, yeah. So, but you still have to configure your email and uh, uh, name when... Uh, see, I'm <laughs> not best with privacy issues. You can use, like, uh, not real name. Okay. It just, uh, it's good when you sharing this code with some, someone else, not with whole internet, but with someone else, uh, that just to realize that this change is your change, like, with this name, but it's not necessary, like at all, to make this uh, like git configure uh, on git. But like I'm just used to do it. Uh, so sorry. First way is you is through command line, and uh, it's a really traditional way to use in git. Uh, and it's actually the only place when you can run all git commands, as well as uh, it's the only place when you can like crystally uh, see what's going on in your git. You can understand like log logic of git uh, really well because if you switch to some other uh, like some user interfaces, uh, you lost some ideas. And uh, it requires basic knowledge of uh, like uh, common prompt, but uh, I believe that it's not so hard to learn. A second way it is using uh, user interface clients. Uh, there is a list of user inter interface clients. For example, I tried uh, Smart Git, which is free for non-commercial use and uh, available for like most uh, popular platforms like Windows, Mac, and Linux. But I didn't enjoy it actually. I think that uh, common line or terminal in Ubuntu is the best way to use it. So now I would like to conduct a short practical session uh, when I will show some uh, Git uh, stuff. I I really afraid of doing it because now I'm on such stage of uh, like Git proficiency when. In most cases, everything is working, is, is working, but if I have some error, I'm a bit confused and I need to Google how to solve it. So let's cross, cross our fingers, <laughs> just uh, because, uh, like, it's the reason why you can't see Git here, because uh, if I have two computers to, uh, to, to work with Git, uh, I, I'll be lost, uh, like, forever. Uh, four very basic git commands. It's init, add, commit, and status. Sorry, Moscow. Uh, and uh, so uh, it's uh, commands that are really useful for version control. So using these commands, you will not collaborate to anyone here because we have another bunch of commands to like make friends and collaboration. Uh, but uh, I will say talk about this a bit later. So we have four uh, commands, and first one is git init. Git init makes uh, creates an empty git repository, uh, so you can initialize uh, git in some of your repository. I'll first of all I'll give a brief definition, and then I'll show how it works on terminal. Git s uh, means that you need to start tracking changes uh, made to some file. So you should type git add in some file, and then it is in your stage area where uh, which you can commit later. And git commit is a command that allows you to finally uh, put your file in your local git repository. Uh, I mean, git commit uh, it commits everything that's been staged. So everything that you've added uh, to by git add will be committed. So uh, it means message. So message your comment here. If you will just uh, type git commit, uh, git will ask you later, would you 
be so kind to uh, post your comments here. Uh, but I prefer to post my comments like uh, in, in one line. So it's a good idea, like mostly uh, one word about comments. It's good to keep you in that, like uh, that way, like other people, when they look at your comments, they should really quickly realize what are you doing here. So comment like new file added is not useful one because like a year uh, from moment when you uh, post, uh, when you commit something with such kind of comment, you forgot what kind of file it is, so you should uh, like uh, comment something like uh, descriptive statistics added or basic graph added or like something uh, uh, like something meaningful. Uh, so in git status is a comment that allow you to check which file uh, with which files are staged, which are staged, and which uh, are on track. Uh, are a bit, so different. Uh, so now we are looking to my terminal. Here's my terminal, and I would like first of all use some uh, general uh, comments. Like I would like to see whether I have git at all. Uh, in that case, I would like to type git version. And yes, I really have git uh, version 1.9.1. And uh, I can show you that I would like to configure my git. Like I haven't done this, this before. I need to type, type git config uh, minus minus global, which means that uh, those uh, settings now is applied to all my git uh, like activity. And uh, I... Uh, Type username and it's actually not your username, it's your real name. But uh, if you don't use uh, like GitHub, you have you can uh, so nothing happens and it's good. Uh, git uh, config um, hmm? yeah, minus one, yeah, yeah. Because I, I always forget all this stuff yet because I'm not so proficient maybe. Email uh So now I can see at my uh, list of settings. They have like uh, some additional one but I will not use it. List uh, well I would like to see all my global settings. So yes, now it's all uh, here. Uh, so now I'd like to see where my working directory is. Now i in my main folder, but I would like to make another directory. I will do directory uh, send repo, because repo is like really widely used short word for repository. Uh, so I create a directory and actually if I will do the same just create a new folder, it's going to be the same. So just to make it a bit shorter. Uh, so now I would like to go here. Stand that. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I forgot this. <coughs> Thank you. CD. Yeah, once again, I'm not perfect in this stuff yet. So now we can see all our files, and we have no files in our repository. Uh, but uh, I would like to do git init now. So I initialize my git repository here. Uh, yes, now I have a new repository. And if I run ls-a, which means that I would like to see all files inside my directory, including some hidden system. I have dot git file, which means that I have a git repository. Uh, after that, uh, I would like to run git status. Git status is a really useful. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, it's a really useful uh, comment, that, so you can use it as frequently as you'd like to. I have nothing to commit yet. Вот он не хочет, потому что он... Я могу сделать вот так? Да, вот. Я, like that. Yes. So, uh, where we 
now. I have nothing to commit because, because I have no files yet. But I would like to create a new file. Once again, I'll do it by uh, like creating. Yeah, now I have my text window. You can just create this usually by uh, like create a uh, file and like like this. Yeah, yeah. Where's my folder? Yeah, here it is. So I can just uh, new document and then document, but I'll do it like that. So uh, I'll. Uh, I will not be creative really. I uh, save this file. So now I can see that I have it in my directory, uh, and uh, now I would like uh, to see, uh, like, I have now this file here, and I would like to, uh, like, git type status once again. Yeah, now I have one just file. Here it is on, you know, in red color. Uh, I would like to run git uh, add text text text.txt, which means that we added uh, this file to our staging uh, area. So now we are running git uh, uh, commit. Yeah, git commit. Good for you. <laughs> uh, Look, I've, uh, I forgot to type like minus M and my message. So now uh, it is asking me to uh, like create one and uh, I would like to like, like initial Yeah, I think 
everything uh, everything fine so now we can refresh our page and you can see that here is my uh, new file uh, here are uh, like my comments so we can see that it's if you, it been changed three minutes ago I am the only one contributor and uh, it is the only one branch in uh, my repository so if you already have your like folders with your R code so maybe some data it's not so hard to uh, put it on GitHub so what does a branch mean? Uh, branch means that you have another version of your code which means uh, that I explained by example about your article when you already like doing some final changes in one code and uh, developing some new features in another code which means that you have two branches. Uh, so uh, now like a few words once again about uh, like I've already sh uh, show you push because we pushed our changes to our remote repository but you can also pull them uh, which means that if uh, like you working from another computer or some uh, uh, your, like one of your colleagues change uh, kind of but uh, I mean uh, if you look here you can download like somewhere you can download your yeah you can download zip and download zip is not pulling because pulling also means that you copy all history so all changes that some person make, for example, if I pull some uh, like files from head video, it means that I pull like his history, like not his history, but history of his files. And similar thing is happening with clone, uh, like clone is uh, clone is another uh, stuff for collaboration. Uh, so I would like you, I would like to show you uh, like how can I clone some uh, repository? I will copy this kind of code. It's once again a uh, repository from uh, some textbook. And uh, like, first of all, I would like to change my uh, repository because I would like to go back to like now, as you can see, I in my same rest repository, but I don't want uh, to clone something in it. So I will go to like <sighs> sorry uh, home uh, I go here. So and now I'm uh, copying this. Uh, there is difference between uh, those two comments because here we uh, tell Git to create a new folder to create a new repository. Uh, so. Uh, Let's no, I haven't copied everything, so sorry. For some reason it don't allow me to copy all this stuff. Oh. 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 Uh, which uh, is using by uh, like 
by line git push master origin, which means that you are pushing your master directory, which is your local directory, to your origin, of, I mean, not, not direct repository, sorry, your master repository to your origin repository. And uh, pull you can do it vice versa, so you pull in your origin to your master. Uh, so uh, it took a while to clone in our repo, so I can show it for Moscow as well. Uh, so when we push and we push and uh, our changes and our commits to our remote repository, when they are pulling, we're doing vice versa, versa, so if you know that someone uh, changed our code, we uh, should pull first before we are doing some commits. Uh, and another thing is the fork. Fork is really similar uh, to uh, clone, but it is uh, like implemented inside of uh, GitHub. So uh, I need to choose some victim to be forked. Uh, let's, let's go to our, well, let's go here. I would like not only uh, have uh, Oh, here, here. Oh, no. yes, sorry. Uh, so I would like to fork this repository and just need to push this button, fork. Just to take just a few seconds, so now I have fork on this lib git uh, repository. You can see that they have already like 84 branches, some of them are forks. So here now I have my own with git repository on GitHub, uh, which might be really useful if it's someone's code, not just some libraries and examples, but uh, things that you can start your work with. Uh, because like, I think that uh, code for social science kind of really similar, especially when we work on the same database, like World Valley Survey, when we are uh, doing like some uh, basic change uh, at the very beginning, and then we are just uh, doing some something of our own. So, push, pull, fork. Uh, I've already shown you Git on the common front, and I would like to really shortly show you Git in our studio. Uh, I mean, uh, our studio is here, uh, and it is implemented uh, in our studio by uh, project uh, by project opportunity, which is also no not uh, widely used in our lab. So first of all, we need to classify uh, which kind of version control we will use. I prefer this because there is also SVN opportunity. Uh, so. I uh, like have some settings here, and now when I create my new project, I choose version control, and I choose git, and I uh, copy the repository here, and let it be my previous repository that I've just created, uh, Sam Repo. Uh, mm -hmm. There is no R. Yes, yes. Just yes, because I'm just like I will create some R files here, so it's already known that it's called Sam Repo, uh, and we are creating a project. Ah, oh, okay, file new file. So yeah, something broken. So um, new project so version control git. Uh, maybe we can do our new pointer and first create here a new one. Uh huh. Also, this is good for finding job because you can uh, uh, like uh, mention that you would like to. Uh, other people consider your uh, GitHub uh, account as your portfolio. Uh, so I created a repository. Yeah, here it is. Oh, I 
and lift it should down ever soon. Yep, now I can see that I'm working with my uh, new repository. It is here, so no, I cannot zoom in. Uh, and now you can like make some changes. File, new file, sorry. Like once again, no, let's make it hello. Uh, like, uh, let's save it, and uh, now we have file of our project type here, and uh, I'll call it source. Okay. And now we can we can see that there are some same uh, commands that we've done in our command prom, like commit, push branches, pull branch, branches, history. Uh, but, uh, like, I have uh, some problems all the time because I'll try to commit my file. So here you can uh, check which files you'd like to commit. And another important issue that you need to commit together only those files that, that are related to each other. Because I, you, it's a good idea to commit like really different files and uh, write something like uh, commit over 8. Uh, so I'll commit a message. Uh, let it be like this. And I really believe that uh, it should work. Yeah, everything gone well. I commit my files. And now I have it also on my local repository. But I would like to push it and here I will probably go uh, have my problem. Push branches. I have an error here because uh, our studio has a problem that no, it went well. It's amazing. Sometimes when uh, our studio has problem with uh, it, you need to do it manually, like repeat these comments manually from prompt or from terminal, and everything will go fine. Let me see where do I have it here. Yeah, here you go. It's like a miracle because I was really afraid that everything will broke now. Uh, in this, you also can. In, in GitHub, you can uh, uh, do some changes. It will not work as like typical R, but it's a good like text editor. You can uh, make sh some changes here on my when you are awake uh, away from uh, uh, your computer. So yeah, I would like to meet it. Commit. And I forget to push my uh, to, to write some comment. Uh, so now I would like to pull branches. Okay, we can see that something changed, and we can see that our goodbye world is already here, despite the fact that we made this change, like from GitHub. So actually, it is pretty much everything that I'd like to tell you. Uh, I have some useful links for you because there is a simple game try GitHub, uh, so it's a really good way to start. Uh, also, Git and GitHub has really useful uh, like help files and really useful uh, book. For example, this third link for you if I forgot, like this uh, third link. If you would like only read one chapter of a book to learn Git. This should be this chapter, like chapter two from this book. Also, there is pretty funny uh, tutorial uh, uh, from Roger Dunner. And if you uh, search for Git tutorial on YouTube, you get like lots of lots of tutorial, uh, like Git tutorial for four years old and uh, stuff like that. And, some of these people are really amazing in uh, explaining all this stuff. Maybe they are more, uh, like, they really better than me. Uh, like, 
Actually, it's pretty much, much everything. I also would like to mention that if you use Dropbox, do not init your Git uh, in your Dropbox folder. You'll get some conflicts, as well as Yandex Drive and something like this. And it's actually kind of silly because it has the same functions. Yeah, because like if you publish it on GitHub, uh, I mean, you don't need a Dropbox for that kind of project or, or for that kind of stuff. So... Two uh, anti-virus programs are working on the same Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and the computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm ready to answer all your questions, if you have any. <laughs> on my laptop, that means that at my laptop, for instance, I will have the latest version, not uh, all versions from the beginning, but I, in principle, can check all previous versions, am I right? But not yes, at my I... computer, but at GitHub. You can check all, all previous versions, both on Git and on, and on GitHub, because on your computer you can, uh, like, uh, so all your old versions, they are available both on, Git, uh, on, on GitHub if you uh, posted them here. I actually forgot how to trace back to some changes, but uh, it's not a hard thing to do. And <laughs> if you'd like uh, me to like send an email, I will do that. Uh, so I, sorry, I forgot how to do this, but you can uh, access to all the versions uh, both from your computer if you have those. Uh, and from uh, GitHub and someone else's computer as well if you clone a uh, repository. But if I want to, uh, if I want to look at uh, the uh, earlier versions, in that case, I need an access to internet, am I right? No, no. No, because all your versions, they uh, are in your, Git repo uh, in your Git file, because they are already in your repository. Uh, and uh, and if I you have would a like local to copy, yes, am I right? At my, at yeah, my you can have a local copy and you probably, in that case, you have uh, a version of your file if you'd like to work on only a version. And it's going to be something like fork, but uh, in, inside of your uh, Git, uh, local Git repository. Okay. Oh, I have a question. Uh, Alisa, thank you for the presentation. But like on GitHub, they have this option like private. So like you said that like your codes are gonna be public if you publish them or if you put them on GitHub. So what what is that option for? Like on the GUI of uh, GitHub, they have this option there like public and uh, the, for the repos uh, repository. Like if you want to share it with someone specific user, you just need to put his or her handle in there, I guess. And if you want to make it public, I, I still didn't get that. But when you said that, like, when you publish something on GitHub, it gets public. So what's that part uh, for, like, the private repository? Well, after after I, uh, for example, pushed all my changes to my uh, remote repositories on GitHub, everybody from the internet can uh, see what silly things we we are doing here. Uh, together like all my, my hello world files mm -hmm. and if I don't want people to see that I have to have a uh, like paid account because GitHub they encourage you to have your code open sourced. Okay. Uh, 
So, uh, but GitHub is not necessary for like your successful work with uh, uh, with version mm -hmm. control. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, like again, I've been thinking, for example, uh, about the Eduard case when he probably has a lot of uh, code which some of them I I I, I yeah, but want to place on GitHub. But, uh, some of it I don't. Yeah, some of it you don't want to. So uh, in that case, this code you can have only on your lo in your local repositories. Okay. Uh, so it's not a big deal. Okay. And also I forget to tell you that, uh, like you probably seen that I've been pulling and pushing my repository without any password. Yeah. So uh, in order to do that, you need to initialize, like, uh, to let me show you this stuff. Yeah, content. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 so, uh,
other people could uh, Yeah, if you have some later uh, like and you know how to better, so maybe sense like if you have some latex files, like, uh, yes. it's so always kind of good to have this, like, as an example, we can change all the text, but have, like, uh, yeah, since latex is also kind of problem in language. Yeah, it is. Uh, you can, uh, yeah. like, post it. I don't know, have the, do they have here on latex or text? I would be surprised if they don't. They have no latex, but they may have text. Tech. Thank you. 